Hi, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. Um, we're going to be showing you how to do some VLANs on an interface. Now that we have our interface and zone created, um, we're going to take this a little step further and we're going to configure some VLANs on this interface. Um, say if we have a switch coming off this port, uh, we want to segregate traffic across two different departments. Uh, so I'm going to create um, a sales zone for our sales users. and then I'm going to create um, an engineering zone so once we have our zone set up um, under the interface we're going to need to create a virtual interface in each zone uh, we're going to create a VLAN tag which will then need to be configured on the switch once it's connected to this interface in order for traffic to flow uh, between the firewall and the uh, end user behind the switch. Uh, the parent interface will be the interface that the switch is connected to. Um, in this case it's X2. Um, and then we're just going to create some subnets here for uh, our new interfaces. So we're going to have VLAN 10 for our sales users and then VLAN 20 for our engineer users. I'm just changing the third octet on these IP addresses just to further identify uh, which VLAN the IP is connected to so it just makes it a little bit easier to, to understand from a IT manager perspective. So once we have these interfaces set up um, we're going to need to check the DHCP again just to make sure that we have a range set up for these uh, new interfaces. You can pre populate this, um, usually, is the best scenario. And then again, we're just going to check the uh, communication is already allowed between the zones that we just created. So from our sales zone to LAN, everything is allowed. Engineers to LAN, everything's been allowed. Um, and then we can just go ahead and check all of the other zones as well. Um, so outbound to the WAN, we should be allowed by default. And engineers to our phone system, we will also need to allow that. Now if we want to block the engineers from accessing the LAN zone, we can just go in here um, and change this rule. Change the action to deny. Um, so anything on that engineer zone with an IP address of 10.10.20 will no longer be able to access our LAN zone. Thanks again for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more videos as part of our Essentials series over the coming weeks. Thanks.